Hey, Billy. Hey! What? Why didn't you say hello, Billy, like you normally do? Well, it's just... So many people are saying my current machinimas aren't as good as my older machinimas, so... Why do you think that is? Well, what do you do differently? Nothing. I mean, I don't try just as much now as I didn't try back then. Well, did you have better equipment? No, I have better equipment now and better ideas for what I'm doing. Well, what if you just combined a bunch of older video ideas into one video? That'd make everybody happy. I mean, might as well try it, right? Get out of the fire, Jim! No, you can't tell me how to live my life. Uh, just please, get out of the fire. No, and I want to know, why does a raid boss's fire hurt more than an actual fire? Is it a mix of weird chemicals? Is it hotter? It makes no sense. I should be being productive with my life right now. This NPC just stands there, only interacting with you when you talk to him. This NPC has a unique path he has to follow, not straying from it for any reason whatsoever. This NPC does a specific repetitive action by an object. It helps to fill the empty void in their soul. These NPCs have conversations with each other, all while constantly interrupting each other and making over-ecstatic emotes. Pretty much accurate to these types of people in real life. This NPC talks to themselves and waves goodbye to nobody. They probably have a mental disorder, but nobody questions them because they have a butcher's knife. Edward the Earthroot was born in the rocky hills of Duratar, with ambition and striving for adventure. Later that day, he was gathered by an herbalist, and his adventure was now beginning. He was taken to Orgrimmar, where his owner grinded him up into an elixir and drank him. The end. I'm Bore Thrills, and today I'll be teaching you how to survive the Cadgar Servant Quest in Shatrath. This won't take long. Most people believe this lie, but luckily, we're prepared for the long haul. 30 seconds in, and I'm already bored to death. He's tricked so many innocent quest-goers into believing this is a short quest, but really, it can take up to eight minutes. A little deeper into my journey, I discover the nostalgia of the clanging swordsman. What a sight and sound. Oh god, catch back up to him, but we failed the quest and have to start over. Cadgar's servant plays a devious trick up these stairs, making you think he's going back inside and that you're finished, but turns around and continues his story. Further in, I start to grow weary and set up a fire for the rest of the night. We can get some much needed rest and relaxation here. About six minutes in, Cadgar's servant shows us an Alec butt. Really for no reason. And finally we make it to the end of the quest. A few more minutes and I would have had to resort to drinking my own urine, but sadly we didn't get there. Wow, that was really great! The only thing missing was the go guy! Yeah, I mean, he's got a sore throat, so it's, it's not the same. Me!